On this episode of the Whiskey Tornado, we review Larceny Barrel Proof B522. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Whiskey Tornado. I'm your host, Lance, and today we're reviewing Larceny Barrel Proof Batch B522 Bourbon. I'll be honest with you guys, in the past, I haven't been a huge fan of Larceny, but I'm excited to review this for you guys today. For those of you that don't know, it is a weeded mash bill. In fact, it's the same mash bill as Old Fitz. If you guys are chasing those Old Fitz decanters, and can't find them, this may be one that you can grab that's pretty darn close. All right, batch B522 comes in at 123.8 proof. So it is a little bit higher in proof. Today, we are gonna review it. We're gonna give it the Whiskey Tornado score and we're gonna see where it falls in my list of bourbon reviews so far this year. If you wanna see that list, you can go to whiskeytornado.com, click on 2022 whiskey scores. You'll see every whiskey I've reviewed so far this year and how this particular one stacks up. Real quickly, I will go through our scoring system here. If you've heard this a million times, use the timestamps below, skip to the section that you want to see. Here on the Whiskey Tornado, we have seven categories. We rank zero to one, 0.5 being an average score. Our first two categories are handicap. Those are appearance and availability. Then we move on to the nose, palette, finish, body and value. At the end, we add all those scores up. Any score of three or better means it's bar worthy. Feel safe buying that, putting it on your bar, sharing it with friends. Any score of four or better means it's bunker worthy. You better grab a couple extra just in case the bourbon you love is no longer made. All right, with all that being said, let's get into the appearance of Larceny Barrel Proof B522. All right, guys, so I'm not sure how you guys personally feel about the appearance of Larceny, but I hate it. I just do not like it. It looks cheap. It's just got a sticker on the cover. Um, I don't know. Everything about this bottle, I'm just not a fan of, so I'm going to give it a 0.3 on appearance. All right, as far as availability is concerned, this is an obtainable bottle. Now, does it sit on shelves all the time? No, it does not. But if you know when the release dates are close to and you start hitting your stores around that time, you should walk into this and find it on your shelf. So it's got to be less than average, but it's certainly obtainable. So we're going to give the availability a 0.4. All right, let's get into the good stuff, guys. Let's talk about the nose. I'm going to get a pour here of this 123 proof weeded bourbon. Let's get into the nose. I'm going to swirl it around, coat the glass here a little bit. Color looks fantastic on this. All right, let's go in. Oh, this does not smell like past larcenies that I've smelled. It's more fruity. There's more fruit on the nose. Definitely like red fruits, um, vanilla, typical caramel notes. There's just a slight dustiness there. And, and and way in there is is a little bit of that nuttiness that I always associate with um, with Larceny Barrel Proof. If it tastes like dried peanut shells or peanut butter, I'm usually uh, getting Larceny Barrel Proof. But this is like really well balanced. The, the, the peanuts is not overwhelming, which is normally the case and why I normally don't like it. This is beautiful. This nose is exceptional. I'm going to give it a 0.8. All right, moving on to the palette. First sip. Cheers, everybody. Oh, 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 hell yes. Oh, man. What? I normally am not crazy about Larceny Barrel Proof. That first sip was ridiculous. It tasted like a higher proof old fits. It tasted very well balanced, very creamy, lots of caramel, lots of vanilla. 
and just like just like a perfect amount of like creamy kind of peanut butter but not overwhelming oh this is what i've been hoping for from this this offering i want it to be balanced i don't want to just taste peanuts um oh this is this is gorgeous um wow that first sip was so fantastic i'm gonna go for second sip here son of a that's gorgeous Oh, that's about put the pause in me. Almost gave me chills. I am in love with this. Holy crap. This is good stuff. It drinks so much lighter than 123.8 proof. Wow. I'm, a, I'm, I'm at a loss for words, guys. There's not a whole lot of other tasting notes I can give you. You know, a lot of people like to go front of the palate, mid palate, back of palate. It's just, this is just fantastic. It's just really good, really well rounded. The texture is so creamy and buttery. Uh, it's, I, you know, I'm not tasting a lot of fruit like I was getting on the nose, but it's just caramel, vanilla, uh, like creamy peanut butter, Rick House. It is, oh man, this is gorgeous. Really gorgeous. If you're a Booker's fan, or Elijah Craig Barrel Proof fan or um, or Old Fitz fan, you have got to find this batch. It is really good. Oh man, it does. It reminds me of a Booker's, but not as harsh. It's like a more aged, more well-rounded Booker's. Sometimes a Booker's comes off as super, uh, super bitey to me, kind of spiky fights me a little too much this at 123 what i say 123.8 proof man it drinks so easy it is really nice man i'm in love with this um i'm gonna do it i'm gonna give i'm gonna give the palette a 0 0.9 this is almost perfect for me i absolutely love this bottle all right moving on to the finish guys You know, at 123 proof, the finish is good, better than average. You get that creamy, kind of nutty, caramel, chocolate. There's tons of chocolate on this now, now that I'm finding that. Um, I don't think I said that in the palette, but yeah, lots of chocolate, like milk chocolate. Mm -mm -mm. Um, I don't think it's exceptional on the finish, but it's really, really good. Um, we're going to give it a 0.7. It's it's medium to long. I mean, long to medium, somewhere around there. All right, the body on this thing. I don't know what else I can say about the body. Um, the texture is so creamy, so buttery, sticks to all the sides of your mouth. Um, near perfection, in my opinion. When I drink a bourbon, this is the texture I want. Um, so I'm not going to give it perfect, but we're going to give it a 0.9. It's right there. This is beautiful. All right, moving on to value. This is the best part, guys. Not only is this obtainable, but the value is fantastic. It's a Heaven Hill product. And just like Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs get a one on value, this has got to get a one on value. I found this for $59 and it is absolutely fantastic. Um, I got this at the distillery and I also got this from a call from my buddy Ray at Harvest Market. So thank you to Harvest Market. But I did find this on the shelf at the distillery as well. So it does go in our bourbon of the year running. It is an absolute banger of a bottle. Um, one of my favorites of the year. The value is a one. All right, guys, that brings the overall score for Larceny Barrel Proof Batch B522 Bourbon to a 4.65. Uh, making it our second highest ranked bourbon of the year. And I would say I would probably reach for this more than the Hirsch. This is just beautiful. Um, so far to me, I'm blown away. I, I, you know, I don't even buy all the Larceny barrel proofs because I've just found that it's not my thing. This particular bottle is killing my palate. It is fantastic. I'm in love with it. Probably one of the best bourbons I've had all year. Um, if you guys find this batch, you have got to buy it and buy backups. I wish I had an, I, I've got one extra backup. I need like a case of extra backups of this. Um, this is just super fantastic. And if you love that nutty caramely kind of profile, you have got to find a backup of this. It's fantastic. Did I say it's fantastic enough? I'm absolutely in love. Definitely in the running for my bourbon of the year, Larceny Barrel Proof, batch B522 bourbon. 
Um, hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, please visit our Patreon community. You can join for as little as $2 a month. You find out early if this was a bunker-worthy bottle. So people in my Patreon group are already out searching for this um, as this video is released. And there's a lot of other cool stuff we do in Patreon as well. Uh, but really appreciate all of you, whether you're a Patreon member or not. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking and commenting and doing all those things things. Really appreciate you guys. I'm going to cheers you out with one of the best bourbons of the year. Cheers, everybody. Man, are you kidding me? Mm -mm. That's great. Does not drink 123 proof. Mm -mm -mm. Heaven Hill continues to kill it.